Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And let the breath be comfortable. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and up breaths, and if deep breathing feels good, then keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the rhythm, you can make it more gentle, heavier, faster, slower. Try to find the kind of breathing that feels good for the body right now. You're trying to give the mind a place to settle down so it can gather its strength. We live in a world where we're assaulted all the time by sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, aging, illness, and death. We've had a lot of deaths in the community recently. And each death seems special. But you have to remember that this sound on average, what? Every day there's an average of more than 200,000 people die. And so as the Buddha said, we're all subject to aging, or as they say in the Thai translation of that passage, death is normal. Aging is normal, illness is normal, death is normal. And so we have to be prepared. We think of the people who passed on, and we do what good we can and dedicate it to them. That's a way of keeping their goodness alive and also sending a good current to them, a good current of energy of the mind, because that's the only way you can communicate with them now. But beyond that, we also have to think about ourselves, and we have to prepare this. Some day is going to come when it's our picture at the end of the line, and, the pic and it's going to be our picture that they're going to be chanting for over. And are we ready for that point, the point when we're gone someplace else? Do we know where we're going? We don't have any idea where we're going, but we do know that if we get the mind in good shape, that's going to direct us in a good direction. So this should be our top priority every day, every day. What shape is your mind in? Because death can come at any time. Just two days ago we were talking about earthquakes, and then the next day there was an earthquake. Last night there was another aftershock. So just as earthquakes come at any time, death can come at any time. So are you prepared? What do you need to do to clean up your mind first so there's not a lot of unfinished business inside? I mean, unfinished business outside, we have to say, is normal. As the Buddha said, when someone's dying or approaching death, you tell them not to worry about the unfinished things they've left behind, because it's not going to accomplish anything. It's just going to pull their minds down. What's important is the unfinished business in your own mind. What greed do you have? What lust do you have? What anger do you have? What jealousy or resentment do you have that's going to pull you in the wrong direction is when the time comes to go? Okay, you've got to clean those things out now. It's not the case that you can clean out your house right away as soon as the, the eviction order comes. It's going to come, so you be prepared. You want to, And the things you're going to take with you, you want to make sure you don't just grab any old thing in the house. You want to make sure you have your valuables, your generosity, your virtue all the good qualities you've developed with your meditation. You want to have those things close to hand. So when the eviction order comes, you just pick them right up and you go. Otherwise, if they're not close to hand, you just grab whatever's there. And who knows what's going to be there if the mind isn't trained. So we have to train the mind every day, every day. As the Buddha said, heedfulness is the base of all good qualities, and it's our protection. So try to develop heedfulness and try to focus your heedfulness on the shape of your mind. What state is your mind in right now? Make sure it's in a good state. And try to maintain that good state as much as you can, because that's your most important possession. And that's what you want to take with you, is a good mind state, because that, that, can, that can see you through all kinds of other difficulties and bring you out safe on the other side.